Got Jesse in front of me, and we think we blew up his 850 yesterday. Okay, now we're good. That's perfect. There's a first time for everything. Oh, well, that's no good. Already on the VR1 and she's bogging out. Here we are, still riding. I can't believe we're actually still riding. It's basically April 1st up here in Cochrane again. And this was a spur of the moment out of nowhere. And we got a big crew today. We're doing a really different type of ride today. It'll be a backcountry ride with Kenny. We got Rich. We got new buddy Kev who we met. We got Jeff who's on the XRS. We're missing Kenny. We got Jesse somewhere. There he is on the VR1. Got Doug. Got our buddy Rob. All right. Here we go. Onto the A Trail. Following the man, the professional snowmobiler and groomer himself, Kenny Johnson, who's uh, president of the Polar Bear Riders Club up here. Got Jesse in front of me. We uh, blew up his, uh, we think we blew up his 850 yesterday, so. He's riding uh, his dad's VR1 today. We had a really nice ride yesterday up to the canyon, which was great. It was absolutely meant the whole way, not a bump on the trail for 300K a day yesterday. And uh, it was cool to get up to base camp and meet the, the new owners up there. If anybody remembers Steve Downey from the NHL, he's actually uh, the new owner of Abitibi Base Camp. Him and his, uh, I think it's his girlfriend, Amanda, super nice people, and we spent, uh, you know, we spent an hour up there just having some lunch and getting gas. Jesse in front of me, and our new buddy Kev, who's in front of him, Kevin Zalewski, great dude. We had a good time with him yesterday. He's on that new Polaris Boost, which uh, I actually got to try, which was pretty sweet. Whoops! I've got it. Mine's on. Hey Kenny, I remember my first beer. <laughs> All right, Jesse stuck pretty good. What's going on over here? So I stopped behind him and then I had to go behind him. me and then because I was just in the bank. Oh. I stopped behind him and then I had to go behind him and then I had to go behind him. Whew! I'm pulling that. Look at this. Yeah, I think we both need to pull it. I think we just pull it. Maybe not. We're going to need to cut the edge of the Hold on. No, that's what I said. Trench it. Uh, we got to sure? roll it. Got to roll it. <laughs> How was that? You good on the... See? Huh? You're good on that shit, no oh, problem. Good, buddy. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> good fun, bud. Shovel? Lots of powder, eh? Oh, yeah. The lakes are the best. Yeah, we're gonna roll it. You gonna roll it? Oh, Rich, I'm so thankful this isn't you. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we need all the muscle we can get. Hey, guys. Which way are you going? We're gonna flip it over, I guess. What? Yeah. Really? It's about the only way to do it right now. Okay, now we're good. Now we can roll it outside. Wow. <laughs> now what? We want to help you. Now we roll it down here. Roll it. <laughs> Watch yourself, Jess. There you go. Whenever you get stuck, you just gotta think about it. What's the best way to get this out here? If you look at the guys in the mountains, they don't roll. Yeah. Jesus. 
and here I was, I'm like, I've had this for 10 years and it's never been used. I'm like, oh shit, we're gonna get to use it. Well, don't put, don't put it too far. <laughs> don't put it away yet. <laughs> Pack it down a bit. <laughs> no, uh, Rich, if you go to the right, you'll be good. You're good, just pin it. <laughs> One ski the whole way. That's it. <laughs> Woo! He made it! <laughs> so my favorite part so far is powder on the legs. That shit is fun. Oh, Mike, look, look, look. look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. This guy's a crazy rider. He's awesome. He rode the whole side on down that other trail. The whole thing. You guys have to see what he was doing, man. He was uh, like this the whole time. Oh, man. I miss my salt now. <laughs> Ken, what's going on over there? New belt? Did you blow it? Oh. Yeah, she's chunked out. I can feel something. You can see the chunk in it. Yeah, I know. Oh, that one's Yep. Oh, it's that per got. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I might need it for a spare. Which way? Riding yeah, towards you, right? Forward. I mean, this will hopefully it would get you home somewhere. Oh, I'll stick it back in there. That's good. Chunked out. I can feel it. Oh, yeah. Not much left of that. <laughs> the thunder pig. <laughs> All right, we're just off the A trail, doing some off trail stuff. We're on some single tight tracks here. We came across a couple of lakes. Boys are all having a blast. I love it. It's so much fun. This is where these 50/50 uh, sleds really shine. They work really good in, uh, in the deeper stuff, and they're a ton of fun to ride. I tell you, that guy Kevin on the boost is an amazing rider. Some of the stuff we've seen him doing today, he's standing that thing up and all through the powder and hopefully he'll teach me some stuff. I think this one, yeah, I can see it's coming out onto uh, a river, so it's kind of just like a, a bypass trail to get us to the river and then I believe we're going to run up the river here. Oh yeah, I've been here, I remember this place. Yeah. Weren't we here, we were here last time. So, whose place is this? This is Mike and Sherry's camp. Okay, gotcha. Awesome. This is the sketchy river then, right? Your cord. Oh shit. <laughs> We're going to cross by that camp, and we're going to go into Silver Queen to Whiskey Shores. Okay. Yeah, Ken, we did this. I'm going to see you guys here. We're Sweating now. Okay. Yeah, I got my vents open. Yeah, so you didn't think I would remember that? What do I not remember? I remember everything. Mike is the one that Actually. the shit. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Worst memory ever. <laughs> what, what don't I remember? No, Kenny was saying, I was telling him I remember doing this last year. He's like, I didn't think you'd remember that. And I'm like, I remember everything. Mike's the one that doesn't remember shit. I wasn't with you. <laughs> I know. Yeah, just, I think you're good here. Just watch out for the humps.
<laughs> well, here we are just on another beautiful single track trail and you can see it's actually been groomed perfectly. So they've got a sled obviously with a drag that uh, does this one. And we are heading to a place called Whiskey Shores and that's kind of our next stop on uh, Kenny's backcountry tour for today. So it should be awesome. Absolutely beautiful. Just a totally different experience altogether is what the guys have just been saying. And because we ride trails so much, it's just awesome that we, you know, we get to experience, you know, the a different side of riding. And uh, for me, that's kind of what I've been really interested in the last couple of years. Just not really the people to do it with and the people really to show us. Kenny is definitely the guy to do it with in Cochrane. So... This has been wicked. Well, we just left our lunch stop here. Nice uh, camp in the middle of nowhere, doing some uh, back trail, off trail stuff here that's gonna take us down to uh, the river and then we're gonna run the river. Totally different experience. That time I actually packed up a whole bunch of sausages for the guys with some mustard and had a barbecue in the middle, middle of nowhere, which is awesome. Well, we need some brushing here. There we go. I think everybody on the trip's basically been saying it's such a nice way to kind of break up our trail riding and do something different. And uh, they've really enjoyed the, the day so far. Had a lot of fun blasting through the powder and that's been new for me just learning how to ride through that with this uh, BCX and it's, it's been absolutely amazing I love it definitely the most fun I've had on a sled for sure is doing that stuff that we were doing earlier and even blasting across all the powder on some of the lakes and, and rivers that we went across it was awesome well it looks pretty deep up here Cat stuck, looks like it. Woo, she's stuck good. Holy. Oh, oh, just crawl it, just crawl it nice and easy. That's it. That's it. 146, baby. 146, baby. <laughs> Okay, okay, hold up, hop off it, hop off it. Go ahead. Yeah, you're good. Forward, do a nice eight point turn and we're good to go. Yeah, you're good, you're out. We're good, we're going back. <laughs> That's it. There's a first time for everything. Apparently. Well, Whew. I need a five minute before we leave. Want a five minute break? Well, I mean, we should also maybe. Can you hear them? Yeah, I can hear them. I see them. They're right there. Oh, they're right there. That's rich. That's rich. Oh. There's Jeffy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> what a shit show that was! <laughs> well, that was some fun. We got stuck on a single track trail that had not been touched. I think one sled had gone through. Well, here we go again. Now where are we going? <laughs> Kenny taking us in the middle of nowhere on all these uh, really cool offshoots from in and out of the main trail, the A103 uh, that goes up to the canyon. And we've been riding all this backcountry and it's just been an awesome day. We just spent probably about an hour in the middle of the bush just because we were all getting stuck. 
and uh, we're making our way down to someone else's camp now. We had a wicked lunch at the first camp that we stopped at and it's already about four o'clock and I tell you when you're having this much fun the days go by so fast. It's depressing. But uh, we've had a blast. Eight of us out here today with Kenny and I'll tell you it's been it's been a day, a lot of fun. Finally got to really ride this back country in some powder too and again you guys know that we're you know we're pretty pretty hardcore trail riders and just back country stuff is new to me and riding in powder is fairly new to me too and I was playing a lot on the lakes and just sort of getting a feel with for it and coming through some of these trails that have powder on it and I can honestly say it's the most fun I've ever had on a sled. Nothing more fun than that feeling just going through the powder and being able to go off some of these little jumps and stuff and picking up the skis and it's it's a real blast so for for sure I'm loving the backcountry stuff not so much what we just did like the single track stuff and getting stuck like crazy and you know you spend so much time and energy just trying to work your way out and digging guys out and pulling sleds around like that's a pain but riding in like the these kind of trails when they have like tons of powder on them and some of those open areas that we were in that were untouched and even across the lakes and, and the rivers has been amazing. Now I see why guys really do love it so much and it's, uh, it's a really, really awesome way to sled. So as I get more and more comfortable just with riding uh, the backcountry around Cochrane, today I'm actually GPSing our whole ride so that I know kind of the whole area. I'll study it on the map when I get back home. but. It's, uh, it's been really cool. And then learn more and more through Kenny and then I'll you know, eventually be able to get out there with others, right? And split up my, my trips. When I come up here for a week, two weeks at a time, I can do a bit of both. Cause that's really what I want. Like yesterday we had such a fantastic ride up to the canyon and today we're doing all this backcountry stuff and socializing and visiting camps and powder riding, lake running, river running. I mean, it's it's awesome. We saw Kevin go fly across the open water on one of the rivers. That guy's got nuts of steel. So right now, this trail is going to take us right out to, uh, I can't remember if it's the Avatibi River or the Frederick House. I think it's one of the two. And Jesse in front of me. See, like, Kenny knows all these little offshoot trails and I can tell you like there's so many around here it's ridiculous so easy to get lost so because he's worked out here forever and he knows all the back roads he knows the bush so well it's easy for him anybody else you're getting lost guaranteed there we go spitting us back out onto a river of some sort and we'll get to ride hopefully a bit of power out here there's Kevy going straight for the water. Stand it up, bud. There we go, the boys just blasting across. There's Kevy doing wheelies on his boost turbo. <laughs> oh, look at that wheelie. Yeah, he's still going. There goes Rich on his T-Cat. I think this is the bay where we're going to be hanging out. Oh, that looked a little slushy there. Who hit the slush? That was awesome, eh? But you see how there's those stumps and stuff? That's why when everybody puts his hand out, it's usually because there's one there. Who hit the slush? He go through it? <laughs> yeah, he went right there. Uh, all right. Welcome to beautiful Fern Bay. Look at this. <laughs> awesome. 111 kilometers we've done. It feels like 5,000. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, well, good to see you. <laughs> Is it going that way? 
pretty awesome so now I know this because I've done it a couple of times and that's what it's going to take for me to to learn this whole area really well is just doing it a few times with Ken but this is going to take us right out to the uh, A103 you can already see it on my uh, map and that's it we're back on the main trail just like that so here's where it gets probably a little choppy on our way back in, seems like it now. And again, it's just because uh, A-Trail is so heavily, for this particular area, is so heavily trafficked. And again, just with the traffic I'm expecting for sure the next week or so up here to be crazy. Just because everybody wants to get that last ride in, so I'm sure hotels will all be booked. And it's going to be a busy one. Absolutely, I love Cochrane, man. I've been coming up here for like 15 years. I was saying I had a uh, flashback, one of those memories uh, popped up on Facebook for me 10 years ago today. And I was up here with a buddy running uh, some of our older Articats that we used to have and spent a lot of time up here over the years. Back into the middle of nowhere, coming into Cochrane in a whole different way. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, that's no good. Already on the VR1 and she's bogging out. Jesse's playing on the backcountry. And this thing's completely screwed. Low fuel pressure. It's got no power. This is out of fuel, dude. That's what Rich ran out. We have to fill both sleds. Yeah, well, well, it won't have, it has no power. Okay, we'll cruise back to Ridge because we need both, both our sleds. Of course, as soon as I get on it. Is there no fuel in there? You need half a tank of fuel. Huh? You need half a tank of fuel. Of course it dies as you get on As soon as I get on it, it died. That's half? Yeah. I'm throwing a code, Mike. What's the code? But I think it's probably a low fuel rail pressure or something. Imagine we got to tow this tank off here. <laughs> I don't know, buddy. So we'll, we'll be getting it in the spring from the bottom of the lake. <laughs> all right. And we're back. Basically, all of us kind of running low on fuel, so switched up sleds, gave Jess the backcountry, and look at him. He's just loving it right now. Carving away. It's a fun sled. Tips up on its side so easily, so nicely. You catch my wheelie? Yeah. There? I oh, I don't know. There. Just trying to figure out where we're going here because we've actually never come this way and those guys got ahead of us, so. Hey, look at me, I'm on a Polaris. I always thought you were gay till now. <laughs> <laughs> look, I thought you were doing the wheelie off of that. I was him. I saw the white sled come over the ridge. I was like, Oh, uh, yeah. it's Jeff. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're just on the L109 coming back into uh, Cochrane. This is, uh, believe it or not, our last ride video of the season. We've had an absolutely phenomenal season. I'm so happy Jess uh, made the trek from New York City and uh, was able to get here for this last ride. There he goes on my BCX. And it's just great. You know, we fin we started our season in Cochrane volunteering. We were up here for a couple of weeks and uh, rode together, obviously, with the rest of the crew for about a big ride like we do in kicking off the season. And now we get to end it together back up in Cochrane, which is pretty amazing. So this will be our final ride video of the 23 season. You guys will see a couple of more videos for sure coming out right through to the end of April. You'll see uh, helmet review videos. We're going to do a bit of a 
review and having kind of our oxygen helmets as well as our mission helmets, our carbons. So you'll see that. We're going to have some end of uh, season reviews on the sleds that we've run for this year, which have all been fantastic. And like I said, it's just uh, it's been a great year of riding for me. I think I'm going to finish up the season with uh, hopefully around 8,000 K for the year, which is pretty good. And I just found out, God bless my wife, she's amazing, but uh, she said I can stay up basically for the rest of the week here. So I got another week of riding when really I thought my season was done after our last uh, Quebec ride. And I'm gonna spend uh, Easter weekend up here with all of our buds from Cochrane. And Jesse, uh, Jesse the, the crazy guy, is uh, flying home from Timmins and he's going to be heading back up to be with me again uh, next Friday and we'll ride together for Friday Saturday and then I'm going home on Sunday so both of us hope you guys all had a fantastic season from Jesse and I and uh, hope you guys enjoyed all the content that we put out this year we really appreciate all the support and we're definitely obviously looking forward to uh, to next year so thanks again guys and we will see you on the trail if you like that video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the sled addicts youtube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiling also hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos